Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is an end-of-day market analysis report for trading on Wednesday, June the 9th, 2016. You're looking at a daily chart of the U.S. dollar index. The U.S. dollar index is still in an overall post-wave negative scenario with upward resistance at 95.38. Uh, the trend line resistance here, this first pink line here is at 94.61. Uh, it's a possibility it could try to make a run for that into trading on Friday, but being that we're bumping up against the first resistance of 94.07 right now, uh, I find that unlikely. I see this rally as being sold uh, on tomorrow's trading. Taking a look now at uh, the crude oil futures contract on the daily chart here. As you can see, momentum is starting to come off. The market is uh, getting a little exhausted up here. It is in a pulse wave positive situation right now. At uh, trend line support is at 50.23, and then we have the daily support at 48.13, and the market is well supported at the trend line here at 45.15. So the market is, is well supported right now, and it's just going to be a matter to see if it's just going to pull back here, take a rest before shooting higher again, or is this market exhausted, and is this current up move over, and we see a correction like we did back here. Uh, all things being equal, if we are going to see a correction, it's probably going to be around, I want to say probably a, a dollar in, in the pullback. If we base it off of the last time we pulled back, it was about a buck uh, before shooting higher again. So overall, we're still in a pulse wave positive uh, scenario. Market's still in a nice uptrend, and um, I'm suspecting that pullbacks are going to be bought in this market. All right, looking now at the S&P 500, a similar situation as the oil. Right now, the market is well supported on the daily at 2087.94, so that's be about 2087 and three quarters. And trend line support right now is at the um, the 2061 and a half level right here. And then we have the purple trend line support at 2087. So it's right around the right that 2087 is a very strong support. Put it that way. And then um, we have a we have a, a nice bit of range here that this market is in. Really have not had a correction. So if this market were to correct, uh, it's probably anywhere from 50 to 100 points. Last correction was back here where we took out. Uh, this one went from 2070 all the way down to. Let's see here. This is 20. Okay, so that low point is at uh, 2022. So, like I stated earlier, you're looking at it anywhere from a 50 to 100 point move. I'll give it 50 just because of the 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 extension point here down to this trend line. So I'll give it about 50 points, 50, 60 points tops. All right, switching our focus now to gold. Uh, gold is re remaining bullish, trying to lock in a trend here on the daily chart, trading above the. Um, the Kumo cloud and you see the trend line supports are rising now this one is crossed above it waiting now for the pink line across above the orange significantly and then that'll help catapult prices higher as this market is trying to march uh, to back up toward 1300 and remains well supported on the daily chart at 121480 alright last but not least looking at silver silver same position as gold for once which is great on the daily chart it's trying to lock in a trend too above the Kumo cloud which is great and this market remains well supported at 1607 so looking forward to the week uh, to next week I see silver trying to make its march back up to 18 and then try to make a nice run break out toward 20 all right so remember bulls make money bears make money and pigs get slaughtered so take what you can give nothing back